Get up, get focused, and get into your passion. Coming to you today from a little bit of a calmer environment because today we're talking about moving your spirit or moving your soul. And sometimes our world gets so busy, gets so crazy, and we're always moving, we're constantly doing something that we don't take the time to slow down and put the work in on our spirit or our soul that needs to be done for our well-being. See, sometimes I get so busy with moving my body and keeping up with things that I neglect taking care of my soul. And so today, I want to impress upon you how important it is. We've talked about moving your body. We've talked about moving your mind. But it's so important to move your spirit or move your soul. And sometimes, in order to move it, you have to slow down. So what am I talking about when I say move your spirit or move your soul? I'm talking about taking the time to slow down, look at yourself, look at your life every day, multiple times throughout the day. See what's going on inside of you. See where God is working in your life. See, we don't take that time. Sometimes we shy away from that time. Sometimes we're scared of that time. But I'm talking about taking time to just slow down and evaluate where you are right now. See, God created us in such a way that he wants a relationship with us. He's our creator. He knows us better than anything else. And when we slow down and take the time to spend time with him, to talk with him, let him talk to us, then it's such an incredible strengthening for our soul and for our whole life. So easy steps to do. Some things that are so easy every day, but we fail to do them. Here's one thing, gratitude. Gratitude is something that's been studied scientifically by neurobiologists and neuroscientists a lot in the past five years. And they've shown in multiple studies that when we take the time to be grateful, when we every day take the time to be grateful for things in our life, for things that God has given us, writing those things down, focusing on those things, it makes incredible benefits in our life. It's shown that people that take the time to be grateful show improvements in their overall health, show improvements in their overall mental well-being. We see people that practice gratitude actually make less doctor's office visits over time because overall they're, they're more stable within themselves. We see people start exercising more when they're grateful because it makes a change in their life. So take the time today, slow down and take the time to have gratitude. Write down the things you're grateful for. Write down the things that you're thankful for in your life. Every day I wake up and I am so thankful and grateful that I can go out and run every day. And I go out and do it. I exercise the things that I'm grateful for. Here's another idea. Just slow down and meditate. Take the time to sit down by yourself, be quiet and block everything else out and just spend time alone with God. Talking to him, let him talk to you. Maybe you're meditating through prayer, through what we all think of as prayer, where we're actually actively talking to God. Maybe we're meditating just by being quiet. Uh, there's scripture that says, be still and know that I am God. Are you taking time every day just to be still? Sometimes when we're still, we're moving our soul. Take the time to journal, write down your thoughts, evaluate your thoughts. That's how you move your soul. You move your spirit. We find through study after study that people that pay attention to their soul, that pay attention to things like gratitude, thankfulness, happiness, contentment, alone time with themselves and with God, live better lives. They visit the doctor less. They have less pain. They have a higher ability to be content and be happy. So it's vitally important that you move your soul. You move your spirit. And today, find a time to stop. Slow down and be still and move your soul because you do have that opportunity. It's there. The problem is sometimes we don't take it. One of the pillars of Moio is to seek out, search out, and capture every opportunity. See, sometimes we don't search it out, and a lot of times we definitely don't capture it. 
So search today for time. Make time to be still and move your soul and capture that time. Don't just find the time. Don't just decide that would be a good time. Take it. Make the move. Do what you're supposed to do. So today, find the opportunity to move your soul by being still, being grateful, being thankful, meditating, praying, because you have the opportunity. So make the most of it. We moeo everywhere we go.